here you go, here's the cage. We install the crossbar across here, screw this together, make sure that uh, everything's all good here, all mating and uh, no gaps or anything. And then we've got the whole cage completely assembled here. And we'll move the camera as we see fit. And as you can see, it doesn't really want to move until we loosen these screws. And now we're ready to put the uh, cage, uh, camera cage, onto the uh, AOS 7 right here. Okay, here we are. We have installed the cage for the camera right up here. We have tied the extra length of camera cable off to the sides here. And then over here, we have installed for the first time in my build a TPU mounted holders for the crossfire and I will include the SDL files in the description. So now uh, I got the crossfire PTX tied down there. Every wire is loose so not putting any strain on it and thus transferring any vibrations from the frame to the flight controller. One of my pet peeves. And now we are ready to put on the top cover. All right, I have removed the top plate from the frame here. From feedback that I have heard, uh, it is challenging to work on the uh, on Chris Rosser's frame due to the design. Uh, you take the top plate on off and you have the chance of the arms falling off and all that good stuff. However, I have found that not to be the case if you do it correctly. So I use this thing and then gently pry little bit by little bit on each of these. And then we take the whole frame, the full top out of the frame. These are still lashed into the bottom frame and I worked on this a lot and these do not move from the bottom frame. They're clipped in there. And as long as you don't pull or yank on them, these trusses will stay put and you won't have any issue. And what I wanna do is move this O4 air unit to the back here. What I wanna do is take this capacitor and move it out of the way uh, to provide room. The reason I want to move it in the back is because uh, to eliminate the long wires connecting to the antennas up here. Instead, what I want to do, and this is what I got from Amazon, here is a 300 millimeter uh, camera extension, and that will allow me to run the cable up here to the camera and then have plenty of room for it, uh, for the air unit back here. A 200 millimeter probably would have done just fine, uh, but this happens to be a 300 millimeter air unit removed from the frame. We are removing the cover from the top of the air unit. We do so very carefully because there is a ribbon underneath here. We don't want to pull it out. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna undo the antennas here. Got these tiny little connectors here. There we are, very easy to snap off. So these are the two extensions that I have going back here to these antennas here. So while we're up here, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove this cable here and off it comes very easily. Here you go. Here's the camera right here. So what we're gonna do is place this quad aside. We're gonna work on air unit and the camera al alone. Gently, gently does it. Yeah, just like that, to say very gently. So what we can see here is there's a big a bit of sticky tape which we want to maintain. It's going to bring over my magnifying glass here. You don't want to in any way harm the daughter board that's on this. There we go. It is now separated. So there is a bit of rubber here. We'll just push through here. And then we just feed this right through this space here. Be more cooperative, yes, very. It doesn't work on one end, you just don't force it, just try another end. All right, so this is a regular one that comes with it. And this is the one that I'm going to replace it with, which you can either use a 200 or a 300 millimeter. And uh, it's what's needed for these long frames. I've done this on the O3 before. Uh, it's Really no different. It would be nice to have them straight, but that is not the way it used to be. So we're just going to clip this in by hand. Notice I'm not using any tools to do so. Just a nice press down with my fingernail, and we are good to go. 
strung on here properly, facing in the correct direction. So what we're going to do is, okay, we just clipped it into the air unit right here, right here. The key thing here is to be very gentle, very careful. So as you can see here, I just switched the sticky tape onto the other side so that we can still take advantage of its properties. And then what we're going to do is place this over here. I'm going to put this very important weather seal back into the camera right here. Move this in here. Take a look at it. Make sure that it's, you can see that. Make sure it's all around there where it should be. All right, so this is what I got from Amazon. And what these are are shorter antennas. They have the little connector on here. And they have this connector as well. So you can put your antenna on. So here is the antenna. It will go on and be clipped right in place. Be clipped right in there. Very easy. If you want to get these yourself, I will leave a link in the description. They come in various links. I will install these in the air unit uh, after we have installed them into here. As you can see, we have the longer ones here and we're going to need to change those out. So it'll just be a simple matter of removing this and uh, switching them out. I removed the flight controller from the ESC here so we could unscrew these uh, screws, uh, these nuts here, and then lift up the ESC. So it's a 60 amp ESC. Uh, as you can see here, there are plastic nuts and the that helps through uh, helps isolate vibrations. So I have a metal nut underneath here uh, that just uh, secures the screw to the frame and then the ESC over it and then I put plastic nuts here. I don't want metal nuts because as you can see they're very close to the uh, FETs here and I don't want them digging in or otherwise damaging them. So I opted just to go with plastic nuts securing this solidly to the frame. And then of course we have our flight controller that will follow up and go on here. The reason why I loosen this is so that I could put the camera cable through here. I have tightened this down and made sure that the camera cable is not at all binding or anything. It passes underneath the ESC. See how it moves. Now uh, there is no air unit on here yet. As you can see it is will be installed next. But there is nothing that is pinching the line going up here to the to the camera. So the camera is ready to be reinstalled. Gone ahead and switched out these longer antennas here that I was previously using. Really long. And then I've switched them out with a lot shorter ones which terminate here. And this is where the air unit will be put. Here the antennas are now installed onto the O4 unit. And they snap right in place. There is no fussing. There's no messing around. They just if it doesn't go in, you just make sure it's straight and you snap in. You do not want to stress these nippy connect. I mean, these connectors, uh, the connectors on the board, because I've heard that they can come off on the board very easily. And then they move. So make sure that they don't just snap right off, and you'll be good to go. The flight controller has been reinstalled. The O4 unit has it mounted to the rear, and here you can see those gray wires. Those are the antenna wires. So nice and short now. Up here, I have taped the wires. Here's my crossfire. Here's my antenna going up here. Uh, I have taped the tape over the top so because I know this gets hot in case it should, by some strangeness, melt through insulation of some wires or something. It won't because I have a tape uh, between the two. Furthermore, uh, here is our power wires here. And here is our uh, connector that uh, connects to the O4 air unit. These wires go to the GPS, and uh, these up here, you know, five volt and a ground, uh, they go to the crossfire. Okay, and then we have up here our wire, our extension link going up to the camera. We have them installed in Chris Wasser's frame uh, cage here. I like that. And then we have our capacitor over here, secured to the side. There is a space between here, as you can see. As you can see here, we are ensuring that we keep this area free and clear so that we can access the SD card. Because So I have the option of using 
the footage from the 04 unit as opposed to always carrying a GoPro. Here we have our antenna mounts and antennas. These are the same ones that iFlight uses. As you can see here, we are using the iFlight's GPS module that iFlight uses, and we are also using their antennas, exactly the same that they're using on their 04 long range quads. We are now at the point to complete assembly by installing or reinstalling the top plate onto the frame. Overall, I'm fairly pleased with the improvements. Not so much a rat's nest of wires. Also, the antenna to the O4 is going to be a lot shorter. So the way that I like to install this top plate is to clip a few in place, like this one here. And then we just kind of work our way around here, not tightening them up, just snugging them up. So we got these two screws. We come back here and we snap this into place and snap this into place. So what we're going to do is put the two back screws in here. And that keeps these arms latched in place. Let's make sure that they're in there before we screw them in place. Love to hear that satisfying snap. All right, we'll just put the rest of the screws in here and we should be good to go. I'm going to see if we can give this now much improved bird a flight.